Okay, today we're looking at the Shadow M2 uh, UAV, uh, our, uh, or unmanned aerial vehicle. This Shadow M2 is a, the next upgrade to our successful uh, Shadow 200 system. Uh, this system is a, a, a militarized version of the uh, our Shadow system. It's got two payloads, so it can carry uh, multiple payloads, including the electrical, optical, and infrared capabilities. Systems. Uh, this system can be used for things such as search and rescue, humanitarian assistance, border patrol, border security, and also obviously military operations as well. Uh, the new system has significant upgrades over the old system, including additional fuel capabilities, additional range, and uh, additional capacity for carrying uh, various payloads on board. Obviously, uh, it's got an improved fuselage, uh, and uh, the system's got uh, extended wings with, with the, uh, the program for additional lift and capabilities. Now, for, for places like India, this would be a great, a great system for such systems as the Indian Army and the Indian Navy. Uh, the, uh, for uh, the uh, uh, Central Police Reserve Force, Border Patrol, etc., to deal with uh, everything from humanitarian assistance to border, border security to defense of the nation. Uh, the system has got great range, great capabilities to uh, not only uh, search for, for uh, lost individuals or to pre uh, give a condition report. For instance, uh, you recently had flooding uh, in, uh, in India. This system could have been used to give a direct uh, situational report of the conditions on the ground so they could send the correct emergency response teams uh, with the right equipment and the right, uh, right people to address the needs of the address the needs of the villagers. This is the Aerosol Mark 4.7 system. It's a UAV that's manufactured, designed and manufactured by Aerosol and AAI Corporation, work under the Textron Systems umbrella. Uh, it's a small system, up to 35 kilos. It, uh, it performs the intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance role. It it's, uh, uses a heavy fuel engine, which is able to use all fuels from JP5, JP8, uh, and Avgas and Avtur. In this particular role, this, this system is used in operational theatre uh, to help support the troops uh, in combat for providing uh, situational awareness for those uh, troops on the field. The uh, system has uh, multiple payloads. It carries EO camera, an IR camera, electronic warfare and radio relay capability all within the one system. There is no need to land the aircraft to change the system. All these payloads are incorporated within the aircraft all during the one flight. The aircraft can be used for multiple roles as well, not just from a military perspective, it can be used in a civilian perspective as well for search and rescue, it can be used for border protection, it can also be used for scientific reasons with uh, meteorological departments. This aircraft has flown in both the Arctic in Alaska and the Antarctic for universities gathering data for the scientific missions. From an Indian perspective, it can also be used to be able to uh, provide scientific data for uh, typhoon uh, collection of that data over the Bay of Bengal as well. Uh, there are many, many uses for this type of UAV, especially when there is long endurance and persistent surveillance required. The aircraft, can, depending on the configuration, can stay in the air for greater than 20 hours. Uh, it is a very highly capable system and able to perform and collect data as required. Hello India, my name is Brian Fesser, Vice President for Textron Systems. We'd like you to show you today some of our product lines. We've already introduced you to the Aerosan as well as the Shadow. But here we have uh, in front of us the Scorpion medium range attack jet. The Scorpion is one of our latest product lines from development, from white sheet to development in 36 months, which is unheard of in the aviation industry. It actually couples a lot of things that India could use. It could be used as a flight trainer for your air forces. It can be used as a medium, medium attack jet. 
but more importantly as an ISR pl uh, capable platform for your border and your border incursions. It has a loiter time of about 12 to 15 hours. Each one of the pods can be outfitted with additional fuel for longer distance and longer duration. And you can see on the touch points in the aircraft, you can arm it with different types of armaments depending on what mission you want it to use. Clearly they're quite uh, diverse uh, vehicle in the sense that it is low cost, low cost flight hours of about 3,000. Yes, $3,000 per flight hour. Um, as well as a uh, asking price of, of around $20, uh, $20 million. So as you can see, based on what the Indian, Indian military may need in their air forces, very capable aircraft that Textron Systems has developed in conjunction with Textron.